Swami Anand, the 8th of September 1887 to the 25th of January 1976, was a monk, a Gandhian activist, and a Gujarati writer. He is remembered as the manager of Gandhi's publications such as Navahivan and Young India, and for having inspired Gandhi to pen his autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with Truth. In 1969, he was conferred the Sahitya Akademi Award for Gujarati language for his work Kulkathau. Life <inaudible> Early life Swami Anand was born as Himitlal Ramchandra Dave on 8 September 1887 at Shiani village near Wadwan. He was brought up and educated at Bombay. He took a vow of renunciation while still in his teens, took on the name Swami Anandan and became a monk with the Ramakrishna mission. Anand's entry into the freedom movement was through his association with the revolutionaries of Bengal in 1907. Later, he worked in the Kesari, the Marathi newspaper founded by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. <laughs> Gandhi's associate Gandhi first met Anand in Bombay on 10 January 1915 the day after he had returned from South Africa for good. Gandhi launched his weekly, The Navjeevan from Ahmedabad four years later. Its inaugural issue came out in September 1919 and soon the workload increased. It was at this juncture that Gandhi sent for Anand to become the manager of the publication. Swami Anand took over its management in late 1919. He proved to be a good editor and manager and when The Young India was launched, he moved the publication to larger premises and with printing equipment donated by Muhammad Ali Jawar, its publication began. Gandhi's autobiography was serialized in the Navjeevan from 1925 to 1928. It was written by Gandhi at Swami Anand's insistence and an English translation of these chapters appeared in installments in The Young India as well. Later, the Bhagavad Gita according to Gandhi was published based on the talks Gandhi gave at the Satyagraha Ashram in Ahmedabad in 1926. Swami Anand played a role in inspiring Gandhi to write this work as well. He was Vallabhai Patel's secretary during the Berdala Satyagraha of 1928. He also worked with the tribals of Bordi in Gujarat and, following partition in 1947, amongst refugees from Sialkot and Hardwar. At Bordi, Swami Anand founded the Gandhi Ashram in 1931. It soon became a center of Gandhian activities in the region and was, during the non-cooperation movement, confiscated by the British authorities. <laughs> Later life After independence, Swami Anand took an active interest in agriculture and agrarian issues. He was concerned about agricultural productivity and livelihoods in India but had deep respect for the practical wisdom of small farmers across India. He was inspired by George Washington Carver and Robert Oppenheimer, whose biography he wrote. From 1957 till his death in 1976, he made the Kasbad Agricultural Institute at Dahanu, near Mumbai his home. <laughs> Literary career. Swami Anand was a polyglot, proficient in Gujarati, Marathi, Sanskrit, Hindi, Urdu and English. He was acquainted with the classical and folk traditions of the Gujarati, Marathi and Sanskrit languages and was influenced by the works of Ralph Waldo Emerson, Max Muller, Walt Whitman, Sri Aurobindo and Swami Vivekananda. Besides fiction, Swami Anand also wrote on issues of science, religion and society. Some of his works in Gujarati include the novels Ambavadian and Amaritvel and a compilation of correspondence between him and Gandhi's colleagues are contained in the Ugamani Dishano Ujas and Dodamar, all edited by Dinkar Joshi. The works Darthinam Loon, Santonya Anuj and Nagral are biographical reflections while Anant Kala is a meditation on nature and spirituality. He also wrote extensively on the Upanishads, the Sarvadaya movement and also produced a travelogue based on his travels in the Himalayas. Swami Anand's Kulkathau, a series of pen portraits of people from the Bhatia caste, won him the Sahitya Akademi Award in 1969, but, he refused to accept the award due to his vow not to accept any monetary benefits for his writings. 
Gujarati writer and translator Mulshankar Bhatt has collected his best of the character sketches and published as Dharati Ni Arati. He sketched the character of those people who had created a deep impression in his life. Some of the popular characters are Ghanima, Mahadev Desai, Vamandada, Dr. Mayadas. A biography of Swami Anand was written by Chandrakant Sheth and he is the central character in Sujata Bhatt's poem, Point No Point. See also List of Gujarati language writers